Hey guys, welcome back. So guys, we are continuing our PHP PDO CRUD application. So guys, we have seen that how to add the data and fetch the data. So now we are going to edit this data and update the data into a database using PDO. Okay, so guys, let's get started. So let's add one column with the name edit and one simple button. So let's get back and here is our table guys. So this is our table head and let's add one edit button and here we go with the button option. Let's add a a tag and mention as edit. Let's design this button 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 primary and let's go to student hyphen edit dot php file all set. So with this, I am going to pass one parameter called ID is equal to where the ID is going to be the row of ID. That means fetched ID. So let's pass here. All set. So now guys, let's check the output for this. So refresh. Okay, we get the edit button. Now let's click on this. Here you get your student edit.php with the parameter id and its value 1 okay so same concept with goes with the second option also okay so now guys let's create the file with the name student edit.php copy and yes student edit.php so now you have to create a form right so let's check out with the add student form so here all the same data guys so we are going to use the same student form for edit and update okay so let's go to add dot php file copy this and paste in our student edit dot php file and let's change the title edit and update data into database using php pdo edit and update data into database using php pdo so now let's click on edit cool so now guys let's fetch the record from this with the help of this id let's get back let me just minimize this so guys this is our form and first step we have to include the database connection so let's include the database connection at the top of the page here we open php and close php include function where dbcon.php file so here is our database connection so you can just watch it out and let's get back to student edit so guys now let's write the query over here before the form starts okay open php close php let's check first with if condition and set with the is set function dollar underscore get method okay so you're going to get what your id okay so let's copy that parameter id which you have passed from the index page this index page okay so that id you're getting and inside this id you have the value as you can see that it has one so let's store that in a variable call student underscore id is equal to with the help of get method you are going to you are going to tell id so whatever data is there it will come inside this and now guys so now guys let's type the query is equal to where we'll tell select star from the table name students where id is equal to your binded student id okay let me just keep a shortcut student id okay so you don't get confused with this and this done so now guys let's prepare this statement so you can dollar statement is equal to dollar database connection with the prepare function where dollar query all set 
so you are setting the query over here so after setting it we have to execute this so let's execute execute the query where dollar data so inside this data what data you are going to send let me just create it outside here we will be passing this we are going to bind it so colon student id inside that what data you are going to send this student id variable okay the parameter value done and this you are passing inside this all set so there is no confusion let me just align it in one line itself here we go and now guys let's fetch the record so this is only one record guys okay so we are going to take one and you can put also like limit one and dollar statement of only fetch data okay fetch function then let's get that data in a either object method or your fetch associate array method okay so let's fetch in object wise guys fetch underscore obj object if you want to get in associate also you can just i have let me paste off that a s s o c so now let's tell dollar result is equal to and in this result you'll get final data let's paste that in the value attribute php open echo and close php and your dollar result object of where full name full name so this full name is nothing but your database column field name okay here done so let's check the output guys for this first let's move refresh perfect so we are getting that id 1 with prakash now let's check with the id 2 edit here we go 2 and here you get the om prakash data cool so now guys you can i will just show you this what is this method of associate and if you put this fetch associated data you have to change it in a array format okay to fetch the record so there is no difference okay so you need to just change that and let me just keep in this in a object format so if you are using associate then you have to view in a array format okay so yep let's copy this and paste for rest of the fields and next column was email the next column is phone and the final is course save and now guys let's check the output once perfect so now guys let's create one more input field here for the id okay so name is equal to will be student underscore id and inside this value is equal to where open php echo and close the result of id okay so let's check the output so whatever here it's there that only we are storing in an input field let's make this as hidden done so now you can refresh that input field is hidden so now guys when you submit the data okay which means update student so now let's tell update student button so when you click this update student and it goes to code.php with the post method and it will take all the input field name with the values so yes guys let's go to code.php and start with the code here let's ignore that so guys now let's begin with if condition where is set function with the method post update student button and the input field names we have to get so which means we are going to get from the edit student student id full name email phone and course okay so let's come here let me just copy from below because we are going to repeat it again okay so all this full name email phone and course 
are from the input field and one more field is required that is student id let's copy the student id and create a variable called student id let's keep it full itself student id done guys and now you need to start with the query so now guys let's give a try catch and inside this catch let's tell pdo exception pdo exception dollar e and let's echo this dollar e of get message function set so now inside this let's type the query dollar query is equal to here we update the table name so my table name is students let's copy that and paste here set your table with the column names so my column name is full name i mean this column names okay full name email phone and course let's get back full name is equal to colon the full name comma email is equal to colon email let's call the database column field and here you are going to bind that colon phone course is equal to colon course okay now guys you need to give a where condition id is equal to colon your student underscore id all set so if you want to set a limit you can give limit also that means one limit one and now let's prepare this statement guys so let's tell dollar statement statement is equal to your database connection and where we are going to prepare function your dollar query i mean this above query we are preparing it after preparing it we need to execute so what you are going to while execute you need to send your i mean you have to bind all your variables here let's create a variable data and bind all the variables so this is our binding data from the sql and the data you are going to bind inside this is this values done so same concept for all the input fields your email and your variable email okay then your phone and your input field data phone and final course here your variable course done guys so after this one more thing we are missing that is your student id okay do not forget this student id because it will be searching where we have to pass this id what is that student id let's copy this variable and send it done guys so now after this we are going to execute this so let's take that variable statement your prepared statement that statement you are going to execute execute function so what you are going to execute while executing you have to send all your data right your binding binded data so let's send that dollar data so after execution let's tell this query execute is equal to okay so this is our query execution let's tell this in if condition if query is executed show success else shows like not updated so guys to show the message let me just copy the code from below let's copy this and paste here done and instead of inserted let's tell updated successfully not updated and it goes back to index.php where we are using session to show the message okay so if you are using session make sure started and now guys going to index.php let's move index.php where you are showing the message here okay so if you are using session please start the session at top of your page so now guys let's test this code so yep refresh so from om prakash let's make it om dude and let's make it all the phone number two and become 
let's click on update here we go updated successfully and you can see that name is changed to om dude and here you find the email and okay so the phone number is not changed guys so let me just edit and let's update let's update student okay so phone number is not updating let's see why and let's go to the code.php add update student okay here we come and data what we have passed in the phone it's email guys okay so by mistake i have left off so let's update that to phone all set so now let's try to edit and update once again so i'm going to keep all the digit as eight update perfect so guys in this video we have successfully completed with how to edit and update the data into database using php pdo okay so guys in this video that's it thank you for watching this video and please continue next video and please do like the video subscribe to my channel and share this video guys so thank you once again